channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that Hint Beauty sent me. So I posted on my Instagram yesterday that Hint and Meryl at Hint sent me a ton of products um, for free and I'm so excited to try them. So a little backstory of what happened is I had ordered a Hint product from Safe and Chic and um, they accidentally sent me the wrong product and then when I realized I had already opened the other one and basically they just weren't gonna send me the product, they wanted me to send back the one I'd opened and they just weren't very accommodating and um, Hint Beauty thought it was their fault and they're like, oh my gosh, we're so sorry, let me send you the product and I said, no, actually I didn't order it straight from you guys, blah, blah, blah and she offered to send it anyway and kind of rectify the issue with the other company. So. So it was really, really thoughtful. They definitely didn't have to do that. And um, basically she asked if there's anything else I've been wanting to try. And I said I really wanted to try their powder foundations because you guys know I'm really into powder foundations right now. So I wanted to try theirs and compare it to the other ones that I've been trying and liking. So anyway, they sent me this box of products and I wanted to just share with you guys the products kind of in real life and just apply them to my face just show you what I think of them and just kind of try everything out. So that's kind of the backstory and I just think like good customer service and going out of your way for your customers is something that I had to deal with as a salesperson for many, many years and someone working in that industry and I think just going the extra mile really goes a long way because now my loyalty for sure stands at Hint and not with the other company. So I just wanted to lay that out there. Um, especially with these smaller beauty companies, you know, they really kind of are wanting business and followers and loyal customers. So all you have to do is kind of take the extra step sometimes and now I'm like forever loyal to him. So I just wanted to say that before we start because it was really, really sweet and kind and they did not have to do that and I'm so excited to try their products anyway. So the main product that I wanted to try and the way that this all came about was with the Sun Prep. So I had ordered this, but they accidentally sent me a different one. And then that's why Meryl at Hint ended up sending me the Sun Prep. So I want to read the um, package for you, but it's an SPF 20 sunscreen that you can use pretty much anywhere, but it's meant for the face. Um, it's really, really clean and it says Sun Prep SPF 25 shields delicate skin from UVA and UVB rays with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant rich organic plant extracts that multitask to hydrate and soothe the skin. Lightweight, irritant free protection with a transparent finish. So it sounds amazing and I think you can kind of use it as like a primer. So it's actually a bigger bottle than I thought it would be. It's a little bit bigger than the Skin Prep. And it just looks kind of like a white lotion. And I'm just gonna apply this. Oh, it's super transparent. That is so nice, oh my gosh. You guys know that organic sunscreens can be so white and purpley on the skin and leave a tint and be really greasy. Oh my God, it smells so good too. I think one of you guys told me that this smells good. I'm gonna use just a little more to get my forehead and stuff. The pump is still starting. Just a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it smells like candy, but in a good way. Kind of like watermelon candy or something. Oh my gosh. So this goes on the skin so well. Like no sunscreen goes on like this. It literally feels like a primer. And it has SPF 25, but there's absolutely no white cast, no purpley tint, none of like that zinc kind of tint to it. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. And it's it's not sticky or greasy, so it's not like some of the sunscreens where you put it on and you just kind of like feel gross after and you're like, oh, I don't wanna get my face on anything. Like, oh my gosh, it's so light. Wow. You guys, I'm actually so impressed. No one's paying me to say this. Like, these are real thoughts. It's amazing. So that is gonna be super handy. This is something you can wear all year as we need to be protecting our skin from the sun, whether it's winter or summer, but I see myself really using this daily as a primer from like spring to fall. It's like enjoyable to use. This smells way better than the skin prep too. The skin prep I told you guys is like really earthy smelling. This is like watermelon candies. That is really exciting because I almost just didn't even get that product because it, because of the mess up in the order. So I'm really glad I got that. I am a huge fan already. Um, okay, and then the next thing is 
they did send me a few so I'll show you guys what they sent me but to start off they sent me samples of their duet perfecting concealer so if you guys have been following me I've done multiple videos on that comparing it to things using it in a ton of videos um, it's been in a bunch of favorites videos yearly favorites videos but I know they changed the formula so I have the older formula that's a lot um, creamier and like softer and I think the new formula is a little more firm so they sent me light and medium and I'm gonna go ahead and use light and I just want to say too I've gotten a lot of samples from companies and their samples are so well done so they come in like a little package that says hint on the front and on the back there is actually a stamped proper logo on there so it's not gonna rub off or it's not just like sharpie handwritten like it's really nice and they give you a good amount because you don't need very much of this so I'm going to rub my ring finger in there and it's definitely like I said less kind of rich and creamy as the other one but it feels the same so I'm going to dab this under my eyes again this is the shade light and I didn't ask for this I think she just kind of sent me some other samples I asked for the powder foundations and she sent me all sorts of goodies so this is exciting though because I hadn't tried the new formula of this I have so much product left in my other jar but it may be expiring soon I'm not sure so this is definitely my favorite like creamy concealer but you guys know I've been doing kind of the powder concealer so this is a good little switch up to get me not in such a rut all right so I've just put a little bit under my eyes I'm going to put a little around my nose and mouth as I usually do And then since I'm not doing much of a big makeup look today, I'm just going to take the extra onto my eyelids and just kind of use that as a base today. And then the other thing about the sample, so I showed you guys what they look like. They come in individual baggies and there's a little like pamphlet on like what it is, how to use it, the ingredients, like definitely one of the best sample programs I've seen and just more professional, more organized, easier to use. Like they're all packaged up really nicely. It says the shades, everything is also labeled on the back. I just like that it's like actually printed labels. Like it's really well done. So if you do order samples from them, you're not gonna be disappointed. So now that I've got the concealer on, I'm gonna go in with their finale or finally uh, finishing powder. I don't know how to say it. This is like their translucent powder and this is the translucent pearl. So I'm going to use this to set my concealer and I tried this out yesterday and I really liked it. I have never tried this product by them. So I'm just going to take my little fluffy brush, make sure there's no creases right now and set those areas. And this is like very invisible on the skin. It doesn't change the um, coloring of the concealer or anything. It really just takes down the shininess and sets it into the skin. So this will be really nice to have in my collection. And it's just nice to have and try different translucent powders. So I can tell you guys about them. But it's definitely not getting weird on the skin or changing the shade of concealer. And that has happened to me before with other organic setting powders. So... This is what that one looked like and I believe this is a full size which is really really kind so now let's go in with powder foundation so I had told her that I wanted to try light beige and then they came out with a new shade between light and medium beige and they don't have that and then she sent me a medium beige so just so you guys know this is the sample size of the powder foundation so this is actually really really generous and pretty big compared to most samples even the alima pure ones are smaller than this so that's really nice and then um i'm pretty sure that light beige works for me right now so that's what i'm going to use today and show you guys i think maybe medium beige would actually work for me when i have color to me 
Um, the only thing about this is the lid is very, very small to get the product onto your brush. So if you're using like a really big fluffy brush, it's a little small, but I wanted to try applying with this little flat top brush today because that fits in the lid much easier and we'll see how that applies. So again, this is the shade light beige and this is the normal size of the product. So I'm going to just kind of buff and spread this around my skin. The shade looks really nice. I think this is a good match for me right now. I may, it might add a little bit of color, but it's not like too dark at all. And I'd say this has like a pretty light coverage to it. Also, extremely undetectable on the skin, as I think a lot of powder foundations are when you apply them properly. And I think the Alima Pure is very undetectable. But this brush is working a lot better in this lid just because it actually fits in there. I tried using like my big Real Techniques fluffy brush and it was just like really hard to spread the product on, so. And this just has like a very light powdery scent to it. Nothing really noticeable. I think it's honestly picking up that watermelon scent from the um, amazing sun prep. I am so impressed by that sun prep, wow. I can't wait to use that like all of all wedding and honeymoon and even maybe on my wedding day because I'm probably gonna need a little SPF, maybe. The wedding's at five, I don't know. So this is just kind of giving me a little bit of a smoother look to my skin. It definitely has a lighter coverage, I would say. Even though I'm using the Kabuki brush, I feel like the coverage is pretty light. I mean, I'm sure it's buildable, but it's not applying as heavily right away as some powder foundations do. But the shade really is kind of matching really well with my skin, so it's hard to tell, which is a good thing. And this is actually a really great coverage for me personally every day because I don't like to wear a lot of foundation. I like my freckles to show through. I kind of want it to look like my skin is just a little more perfected than it actually is bare. I feel like this really does that for me. So that's a good thing. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more around my nose and then I'll kind of be done with this part. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like finished and, and here's the packaging for that one. All right, and then I don't have a bronzer from them, so real quickly, I'm just gonna bronze up my skin just so we can get like a complete makeup look. So I just bronzed up my face a little after applying the powder foundation, and I realized the powder foundation gave me just a really nice blurred look to my skin and just like a little bit of color since my um, actual face is very light, so it looks really nice. I'm actually really happy with it. So they sent me two blushes to try out. So these are what the blush samples look like. And I got Notorious Nude Blush and Nude Apricot. I think I'm gonna use Nude Apricot. Let me swatch these for you guys, actually. Okay, this is the one that I tried out yesterday. Very peachy. So this is Nude Apricot right there. And then this is, let's see, this one is Notoriously Nude. Notoriously Nude is Definitely my shade. So this is Notoriously Nude and this is the Peachy Apricot one. So I'm gonna use this one today, the Notoriously Nude, and instead of trying to blend it into my brush in this tiny lid, I am gonna put it in a bigger lid just so I can get the product on my brush and apply it properly. And I'm using a clean brush so that none of my other, so that none of my other blushes are painting the color here. Okay, this is not a good blush brush. Let's try another one. These aren't like, they're pigmented, but you don't need just a tiny bit of product. You need a decent amount of product on your brush, brush for it to show up. So if you're absolutely terrified of blush, this is probably a good blush for you because you're not going to like completely overdo it. This is really pretty. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. Sorry. I'm 
Yeah, this shade is gorgeous. This is definitely a really pretty, now I kind of applied a lot. This is definitely a really pretty universal shade. Um, for any skin type, this is gorgeous any time of year. I really like that. So that again was notoriously nude. And this is Alto Matte. Okay, they're both Alto Matte. So that's gorgeous. I would definitely use that in the future and buy it or wear it. The next product I wanted to show you guys that you can use to like finish off the powder look is the Lumiere Radiance Boosting Powder. So um, this one I think is a, yeah, this is another sample. So it's like a decent size and a lot of product. Um, and I am going to apply this as like a finishing powder all over my face. And again, I'm going to put that in a bigger lid so that I get the product dispersed on my brush pretty well. I think that might be a lot. And I think this is supposed to just kind of give you a radiant look across your face, give you that glow and not look powdery at all, which I don't look powdery at all right now. But I'm just going to apply this all over. Okay, I can see that this definitely gave me a radiance. So you could probably apply this as a highlighter if you want like a really subtle highlight. But I kind of wanted to try it all over my face. So I can see on my nose and forehead where I've, where I've applied this that it looks a little more kind of shiny. Or I mean, it looks a little more highlighted. Let's see what this looks like on bare skin. So that's more concentrated, but I applied it right here. So you guys can see it's like a really toned down highlight. So again, I think if you are wanting a really natural highlight, this would be a great option. You could apply it more um, specifically to the high points of your face or use it how I did just to get like an all over glow. I think that's really, really pretty cool. Okay, but that's kind of it for the face products. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do up my brows and put a little mascara on. And then I wanna show you some of the lip products that she sent me. So. She sent me a full size of the Hint Beauty Aria Pure Lipstick in Bellini Nude. So that's the one I'm gonna apply on my lips today. So it's obviously like a regular lipstick bullet, but what's so cute, and I put this on Instagram, it has this like little tiny mirror in the lid and a lip balm. So you can actually like check your lips out in here and like if you need a lip balm before or something, like condition your lips before you apply it. But these are super moisturizing, so you almost wouldn't need that. And then I'm gonna apply that one and then swatch for you three other samples she sent me because I swatched them this morning and I was like, wow, these are actually really pretty and so, so, so moisturizing. So I haven't even put this on my lips yet. So let's try this one. Again, it's Bellini Nude. And it's good because it's not too much of like um, a light nude where you look like too washed out. It's like kind of a peachy nude. I feel like I stray away from lipstick because it usually looks like dried and crackly on my face. And it doesn't look like moisturizing and juicy, but these are like really comfortable. It feels like a tinted lip balm or something. It's definitely way more moisturizing. So that's really pretty. That would be a really pretty look when you have a little bit of color on your face maybe, um, but definitely a great nude, good for a lot of different skin types. So again, that's Bellini Nude. So I'm gonna swatch that on my hand so you can compare it with the other ones. But I love their packaging on that. So there's Bellini Nude right there. She sent me the uh, Tierra Blush. All of these are like pinky nudes or pinks. So this is like a darker, um kind of blush shade right here really pretty and you could use these like really lightly if you're not huge into lipstick you could just apply a little bit to the lips because it is so moisturizing and not dry it's not going to be like you know you could just apply a little and like wear it lighter and not so heavy okay this next one is passion plum i'm really impressed by how moisturizing these are Passion Plum is very pretty. This is like the lip shade that I tend to gravitate towards right here. So it's not quite as like strong and pigmented. It's a little bit lighter. Um, 
but it's kind of like the my lips but better shade which i absolutely love so that one again was passion plum i really like that and then this is pomegranate and this is brighter and also really pretty <laughs> these are all like really great shades pomegranate i would definitely wear this would be gorgeous for the summertime if you do like a really light eye look and then did this one on your lips this is pomegranate right here so these are absolutely gorgeous shades i'm really impressed because you know i've been really liking um lip glosses and like lip tints and stuff i don't like normally get lipsticks but these are all gorgeous not only are the shades really pretty but the again like i can't get over they're really really moisturizing like you have to take my word for it my lips are like super shiny moisturized like super comfortable i can't feel the lipstick on my lips at all it feels like i'm wearing chapstick and i really love these so i'm actually going to use these samples for lunch because every time i get samples like this i usually never use them and they're just kind of like ugly colors too so um anyways and then these all came in individual bags like i told you which is really nice and they came with little brushes so it's a piece of lipstick actually like cut up so to you apply instead of using your fingers you can use that brush which is just really, really nice and handy. So that's kind of it for this video. Here's what the powder looks like. Looking in the mirror right now, like I think my skin looks really pretty. It looks really healthy and a little bit more like bronzed and tanned than normal. I think it's a combination of the powder foundation and that blush that's just giving me really nice color because I use the same bronzer that I've been using with all my other makeup. And so it just looks really pretty. I think, think this lip shade is absolutely gorgeous. Again, I love the packaging on that. Thank you for sending me like a full size that without asking and i just want to say thank you to hint they didn't ask me to do this video they didn't send me like all these products because like they needed to it was totally just because and i'm really really appreciative like some of the, their products are pretty spendy and i'm just really thankful that i got to try these and share them with you guys so if you're interested in trying any of these you got to see them in action um, I really like their concealer. I'm really liking the powder foundation so far. I think the idea of the Lumiere powder is really great. I'm obsessed with the lipsticks. Like, the blush is gorgeous. It's all so pretty. So thank you so much to Hint for doing this. Again, you didn't have to do it, and I'm so thankful. But most of all, thank you so much for sending me the sun prep. I'm thrilled about this and I'm going to be using it all summer long and probably winter like I kind of have a feeling this is going to be an absolute staple in my makeup kit and just in everyday use so thank you so much um so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you got something out of it and I just want to say to all the companies out there like customer service is everything so if your customer service isn't on point people aren't going to shop with you and um hence customer service is above and beyond so other companies are as well but i just think if you're that's your industry and you're reaching out to women that are interested in your products that is like your one thing that you need to be good at and it's just crazy because working in customer service for so many years and having to say yes to so many things you don't want to say yes to or going above and beyond for the customer has really given me high expectations for that in return so anyway hint really blew it out of the water i hope you guys enjoyed seeing these products in action maybe saw something that you're interested in and um and i think that's all i have to say i just really really am thankful that i get to share these products with you and that they sent these to me this is like the first time people have sent me products but this is like the first time it's really just been like so generous and kind and 100 percent unnecessary so i'm absolutely thrilled um i will link everything that i used and talked about down below so if you saw something that you can find there and i'll see you guys in my next video